When it comes to uh, hot wings or any other spicy food, it's not my forte. Uh, but today, uh, we're, we're gonna dig in and have some fun. Not gonna lie, uh, today does make me a little bit nervous as far as uh, how hot some of these are gonna get. So what about you, Todd? Uh, actually, the hottest things I've ever ate were some Inferno wings at a local, local wing establishment. It about killed me. Uh, but I think I can handle it more now. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, you ready? Absolutely. Let's have some fun today. Not a little spicier there. than I thought the first one would be, honestly. Yeah, I was hoping for a little milder. Makes me a little concerned about the last wing on this tray here. How will you be able to answer the last question? <laughs> no milk required for that one. Todd's already going to the milk. I'm so that makes me a little nervous. <laughs> I grew up in a dairy farm. So what is the Field Forge series? They're our highest performing products. We think about what does it mean to perform for corn and soybeans? Obviously, number one, it's yield, right? Agronomics, standability, consistent performance. That's what the Field Forge series is. You know, those are, are features that a grower expects every year. Uh, and with this Field Forage series, it's evolving every year. And I think that's important because we're continuing to bring new hybrids and varieties into the market that keep raising the bar. You know, no different than growers expecting more return on their investment. We expect more out of our Field Forage series every year. Yeah, as I look at the Field Forage series, they're the best looking products in the field. And as from a grower's perspective, as, as I think about consistency and stability, you want that consistency there every year. Not a good one. Not bad. I think the hotness has to settle in. So Joe, Eric, as I think about this Field Forge series uh, and think about these wings, uh, it's starting to get hot, just like the environment. As I move my way north to south, thinking about some of the products I've seen, NK8005, uh, one of our early 80-day maturity field forge products, extremely versatile across a lot of different soils. As I look at new products that have come to the market, NK0007 at 100-day maturity, uh, extremely consistent, stable across multiple yield environments, probably some of the best disease tolerance I've seen late. As I look at soybeans right now, NK14W6E3, uh, great new product for us over the last two years, very, very consistent, uh, has, has multiple stacks of Phytophthora. And then as we move, uh, into the, into the Midwest, NK31M7, E3, very strong variety, Eric, on, on that standpoint. Love the two soybean call-outs on that list of the Field Forge products, and yes, uh, it is getting hot in here. Uh, I, would, I would reiterate the 14W6, NK14W6, E3. A little bit further south, uh, NK20B6, E3S, uh, another new product for this year on the ExtendFlex straight platform, uh, NK44J4, XFS. Just a standout product in the Delta. Uh, the consistency, the agronomics, along with the uh, STS protection for those double crop acres, uh, just a, a fantastic product. Yeah, I think I underestimated the heat on these wings. Uh, that, 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 there's a late kick there with the heat on them, but what we really have is the full maturity gamut in, in either crop of field forage products, and that's what really excites me about this portfolio. The NK1188, uh, NK1026, some products in there that have had some strong performance with us. It's a nice mixture of products that have been really strong performers over for us the last couple of years, plus an addition of the new portfolio to it to really change over the field forage portfolio, but continuing to improve on that agronomic and yield performance that growers expect. This is how the green's gonna look on NK9653 this fall. <laughs> orange on. Bright orange. The, the heat's starting to pick up now. Eric, we haven't had to go to the milk yet. Oh, so far so good. Might, might be closing in though. Just, yeah, let's get there. <clears throat> it's time. Well guys, let's talk about, you know, the Syngenta R&D, you know, really the, the, the engine behind the field forage series for NK. A lot's changed from the corn portfolio and how we're bringing products to market over the last couple of years. Uh, the first notable thing that we've changed is going to two years of testing before bringing a product into the market. And in order to have consistency, we need to have you know, multiple years of repeatable testing. And so changing our testing protocol has been extremely important for us. As we look at launching the Field Forage series, one of the key things to me was that consistency of standability of, of roots and stocks and, and agronomics. Uh, we, we think about that two year testing we think about uh, phenotyping plants. We think about uh, inoculating uh, plants for diseases. Our, our ability to, 
to be better at, at benchmarking products from roots or stocks or, or diseases have become increasingly great over the last two to three years. Yeah, I think I got a cave on the milk here while you guys are chatting. Yeah. I, I think about uh, another aspect of the Field Forge series and our, our entire portfolio is the trust that be, that's behind that 50 years of breeding. We're not launching <clears throat> a bunch of different varieties and, and hoping that these Field Forge products hit, right? These are our hand-selected products, as we mentioned. We've launched over 75 new products in the last two years alone, an entire new trait platform in ExtendFlex. Um, so these products, uh, the Field Forge products, are, are that much more important that give uh, retailers and growers confidence yeah. as they select their products. When I think about corn, you know, with newer diseases such as bacterial leaf streak and tar spot coming up, with our broad germplasm combined with our R&D testing, it's allowed us to come out with some of the best disease tolerant hybrids in the industry with some of these newest diseases that companies haven't necessarily been breeding with for a long time. And it's allowed us to have that consistency. The one thing I know, Joe, is it looks like you're sweating this out a little bit more than we are yeah. because uh, <laughs> we're, we're surviving, but he's starting to sweat these field forge I, I warned you guys. The darker the wing, the better it's gonna get. This, uh, I, I hope so. Does not look like sweet mild barbecue sauce. Kind of looks like tar spot on a chicken wing. That's hot. That's uh, the back of the throat. <coughs> kind of takes your breath away. Yeah, it cl clears up the allergies. <coughs> wow, breathtaking. <coughs> Thinking about the hotness of this wing, I tell you one thing, guys. The agronomic challenges right now are not hot. Yeah, the first thing I'd say is I'm trying to figure out if milk <coughs> or water is better here. Um, might have to combine both of these to see because that one, that one took a step up there. Yeah, that's um, the next level. Eric, I'm not sure if I want to cry because I'm so happy uh, about our Field Forge series. Yeah. <coughs> or just watching you suffer through this. <coughs> happy to provide some comedic relief for <laughs> you, Todd. But, um, you know, you think about things just like these wings, you have hot soils with disease. So as, as these soybean products are, are emerging and coming out of the soil, the Field Forge series just gives us that extra protection against these diseases. And <clears throat> especially, I know when I go back in the field tomorrow, I'm probably gonna cry a little bit <clears throat> on how proud I am of getting through these, this set of wings here, <laughs> uh, especially looking at Field Forge series coming up. Here we go. In the moment of truth. A little salt trail. I'm shaking. Well, I'm sweating. You guys okay? Mm -hmm. Should I do this oh, one? So far, so good. Oh, wow, that's a whole different level. A different type of heat. <laughs> <laughs> that one's hot. <clears throat> well, of all the decisions <clears throat> that farmers make throughout the year, gentlemen, <clears throat> seed purchasing and the placement certainly most important yeah absolutely and you, and you think about what the field the field forage lineup does um, you know what does it do to help you know growers you know maximize their return on investment and you know feel good about that seed purchase you know we've used the, the term consistency a hundred times here uh, but it's not just that it's making sure that they're getting more every year out of the seed that they're purchasing it's, it's a risky decision every year you have especially this year with the cost of the inputs um, you know, they, they can't be wrong with their seed decision. You know, when you look at the field forage series, you know, having that, like we talked about, consistency year in and year out, and it goes back to our R&D testing. You know, two years of testing in our corn hybrids <laughs> before we launch them. So we're not trialing on growers' farms. We know these products work well before they get into those growers' hands and in the bags and in the boxes. So in order to maximize that, we put these products, holy cow, we put these products through <laughs> the ringer. Have milk there, Joe. Well, as we think about that grower <laughs> harvesting these products, uh, pulling those bushels into his combine, there's just a lot of high yield, and you know, his excitement goes up also. I'm sure he won't be as excited as eating his wings right now, but his excitement Yeah, ab absolutely. They they got to have it year in and year out, and. You know, what do we know about the weather the rest of the year? Well, frankly, we don't know a lot about it. But the nice thing is with field forage, Derek, is it's gonna be able to withstand any of those environmental conditions we have the rest of the year. Yeah, withstand the heat, just like Todd is over here. You know, he went to the mill first, but I think he may have been smarter than us, Eric. So gentlemen, we have one more wing. That's hotter, and it's optional. 
No way. Absolutely. Come on, guys. <laughs> We've gone this far. Yes, please keep rolling. Uh, I'm not eating it. <clears throat> I already got tears coming. What else are you expecting of me? <laughs> You get this down and you stand up. I'm gonna be very impressed. Let's get a cheers here. There we go. Cheers. I, I hope this is lemonade. That one hits fast. I'm kind of hoping they'd tease us and be a mild one. Nope. All I can say is, here's to the Field Forge series. They will be happy, happy with the products that they grow. I'm well, really good. I'm usually really good in front of people, but I'm going to get choked up right now. <clears throat> yeah, this one's bringing a tear to the eye. One thing we didn't talk about a lot, and, and here goes a shout out to the Dairy Farmers of America. We sell Enogen hybrids. We also have Enogen uh, hybrids that are Field Forge series. That's, that's a staple to, you know, producing the milk that we need for these wings, because <laughs> if I wanted to start with milk, I think it would have melted right away. <clears throat> uh, similar to what Eric's doing here. Yeah. Um, as I may limp out of here, but at least I won't be sweating <laughs> like Eric. I think we did it. I think we did. <clears throat>